Hello friends, I am Lakshman. You are watching Learn Programming by Lakisar YouTube channel. I hope you are enjoying my videos. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on bell icon to receive new videos through notification. In this video, you will know the SQL developer entry questions for freshers or entry level developer. So let us see one by one. First question is how to explain SQL to a non-tech person. SQL or SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It is a programming language that we can use to store and access data. Essentially, SQL is a way to store data and then pull out the parts you need when you need them. Being a fourth generation language makes it closer to the user and easier to understand and code in. The next question is, what is null in SQL? <coughs> null value in a table is a value in a field that is blank. This means a field with null value is a field with zero value. <coughs> the next question is, what is not null constraint? If you don't want a column to have null value, then you will require to define a constraint with this column and it is to be specified that null is not allowed to that column. The next question, how many types of privileges in SQL? There are two types of privileges in SQL that is uh, they are system privilege and user privilege. The next question is what are the different types of indexes in SQL? There are uh, different types of indexes in SQL, they are normal, bitmap, b-tree, unique and function based indexes. The next question is, how to find the count of duplicate records? Add all the fields to the query and don't forget to add them to the group by. So the following query to find duplicate records. Just check it out the query and Try it in Oracle or MySQL software. The next question is what is collation? It is the set of rules that set how the data is sorted by comparing it such that we can store the character data by using the correct character sequence with the case sensitivity type and accent. The next question is what are the different clauses in SQL? SQL clause. A clause in SQL is a part of a query that lets you filter or customizes how you want your data to be queried to you. The most common clauses in SQL are select class, where class, group by class, having class first let me tell you what is select class this specifies the columns that written by the query mostly refer to select statements next where class in this you tell the database to give you only those records for which certain conditions falls true the next group by class the group by class arrange the data into groups along with some functions. The next class is having class. In having class, you filter the groups of rows. It is used in with group by class. The next one is order by class. We use the order by class to decide which column we want to use to order the resulting data in an ascending or descending manner. For example, whether you want to see the records beginning with the highest salary or the lowest. The next question is define temp table. It is a temporary storage structure for temporarily storing the data. The next question is what do you know about DDL and DML commands? DDL or Data definition language consists of SQL commands that we can use for defining the database schema. Some DDL commands are 
create drop alter truncate comment rename then what about dml comments dml or data manipulation language deals with the data manipulation present in the database it generally includes the sql statements some dml comments are select insert update delete the next question is what is normalization we use normalization for organizing the data so that the data redundancy will never occur in the database there are several forms of normalization one nf that means first normal form second normal form what is the meaning of first normal form all duplicate columns removed from the table next is second normal form this follows first normal form and places data subsets in an individual table also it defines the relationship of tables using the primary key the third normal form this follows the second normal form the columns which are not related to the primary key are removed fourth normal form this follows third normal form it is also called bcnf biker code normal form it does not define multi value dependencies the next question is what are the possible values for a boolean data field two values are possible for a boolean data field that is one that means true and zero that means false what are the keys in sql basically there are two types of keys in sql and that is the primary key and foreign key what the meaning of primary key primary key is a set of one or more columns of a table that can uniquely identify a record in a database table the primary key cannot accept null or duplicate values only one primary key can exist in a single table then what about foreign key foreign key is a column in a table that is the primary key in a another table it can accept multiple null and duplicate values so that's all about some of the entry level sql developer entry questions so thank you for visit have a nice thing